welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to review the pixel extended rom uh, of course official this one and previously i made video uh, on unofficial wheel but this is the official one and what's the changes actually uh, official one is better and the unofficial one let's talk about this uh, because we have the same maintainer for unofficial and official but uh, previously it was unofficial now it's official so what's the changes let's get started first of all let me show you from the settings and of course redmi 7 and redmi y3 android version you guys can enable the store by tapping here and extended version you guys can see pixel extended 4.0 version and android security update is very latest december 5 so uh, we have kernel 49276 uh, which is lineage OS plus and here is the build number if you guys want to enable the developer option then keep tapping build number you guys will be able to enable developer options in system so here you guys uh, will get the live translator you guys can translate easily without any problem and here is the gesture you guys can enable system navigation and you guys can enable the um, so uh, swipe to screenshot three finger you guys can enable and which is working pretty much fine and after that we have the google and digital well-being everything is cool in that rom no problem safety as usual i don't want to waste your time guys and here is the privacy section you guys can select anything you guys can give permission according to your choice and here is the security option and security of of course uh, in all android 12 rooms we only have the fingerprint no app, uh, app hiding system or app lock and uh, other things and face unlock of course and here is the accessibility you guys already know about that and talk back text on display extra dim and which is uh, really cool for me i love this feature actually and here is the drug team works really cool and better than the other roms because this is pixel and here is the system controls teaming controls and live caption whatever you need you guys can check yourself and after that uh, just uh, let me turn off the extra dim now let's see and here is the wallpaper and style and you guys can enable themes and themed icons just click and you are done and you guys can change the wallpaper from here and built in so many wallpapers are there and which is bloom and here you guys can see so many built-in wallpapers you guys can choose according to you test and after that yeah, this will work uh, everything will be changed actually this is monet so everything will be changed ac according to your wallpaper according to wallpaper colors and let me show you that and here you can see theme is working even the dynamic cloak is uh, also changed according to your wallpaper colors and here your notification toggle everything and let me clear one thing you guys will get animation when you scroll down the notification uh, center that means the control center so here you guys can see this uh, will get animation very fluid and smooth animation is here very nice and you guys can change this uh, brightness slider from top to bottom you guys can change this i'll show this no problem and here you guys can see the snow house that means the customization hub you guys can directly access from the control center so this is really cool and here is the setting button you guys can uh, go to settings and here is the edit button that means you guys can edit the toggles like this so what you need you guys can add uh, in the main section and after that if, if you click here you guys can restart power of emergency lockdown whatever you need you guys can do and you guys can enable the advanced feature like this system recovery bootloader system UI, whatever you need you guys can do no problem and after that we have the display section as usual adaptive brightness screen timeout time, uh, drug team font size display size whatever you guys already know about that and double tab is working really really faster uh, really faster than my poco x2 i guess so after that we have the sound and vibration uh, that looks uh, it looks cool you can see here as usual and battery percentage battery backup is really great and you guys uh, i didn't get any battery drain issue i i keep the device and i left my device 
uh, at night stand by and I check in the morning but battery drain was 0% and remember one thing if you are a Wi-Fi user then uh, uh, don't use the 4G and when you need 4G then enable 4G otherwise uh, turn your uh, sim card into 2G network so uh, so that you guys can get more battery and remember that things so this is a cool thing and uh, I always suggest you to uh, keep in 2G 2G and if you are a Wi-Fi if you are not a Wi-Fi user then use your sim card in 4G 3G whatever you need no problem still you will get better better battery backup so no issues with battery and after we have the notifications app settings and you guys can enable bubbles I already talked about uh, this thing so much and after that we have snow house the customization hub because uh, uh, this is pixel so we don't have so many customization we don't have we have a little bit customizations status bar items you guys can enable the headset by default you will get it turned off so just enable this one and volte icon you guys can change the volte icon so many volte icons are available and here is the vo wi-fi my voice that means the voice over so here is the clock options you guys can check and battery percentage battery style you guys can check quick pull down and brightness and here you can see show brightness slider and adaptive brightness button show brightness slider on bottom if you enable this one then you guys will get it in the bottom the brightness slider and after that we have lock screen double tap the necessary things and after that we have system as usual you guys can enable nothing extra here so that's all here and we have in the network and internet section and you guys can see a uh, every single tab you guys will get animation like this just tap you guys will get animation and tap here you guys will get animation so as usual so many uh, network types are there you guys can easily use now let's talk about some basic things uh, you guys can see here dynamic clock is perfectly working without any problem and let me show you some screenshots so CPU throttling here is the CPU throttling test I did which was 91% and really really cool because when my phone uh, uh, phone had 50% charge that time I tested it so this is this that was really cool that's why and if, if I uh, test it in 100% charge uh, we get more 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 result more better so uh, after that we have that one and which is Geekbench score and in Geekbench score you guys can see 55% charge when I check uh, test it and if I test it in 100% charge then it will increase like like that thing so here you guys can see uh, in 100% I checked it so 262 single and multi core double one auto and that's really cool and you guys will get the gameplay at the end of this video so keep watching and now let's talk about charging speed so here you guys can see when uh, battery percentage was 46 uh, then I started charging and the time was 1237 and after that uh, after 20 minutes I checked and charge was 73 percent and charge was going slowly because uh, this is the uh, charging technology works actually this way uh, when you charge above 50 60 percent and it will start charging slowly uh, this is the technology works actually and after 20 minutes uh, charge was 73 percent that means uh, we had 46 percent and after 20 minutes uh, it was 73 percent so you guys can get the idea of how is the charging speed uh, and i don't think uh, there is a problem it's really cool and it's working and it's fast charging that's really cool uh, no issues with charging and after that let me show you and you guys can see safety net is passed because uh, and after you guys can see i am already rooted my device i already done here and let me check from here as well
so you guys can see I wrote it with magics and which is 23 version and safety is passed so without any problem you guys can use pixel x standard and you guys can see the smoothness and when you tap on the search bar you guys will get animation like this and here is the keyboard just keyboard will change according to your wallpaper colors this is really cool and i like it most in android 12 so and let me show you the smoothness of that room you guys can see the animation have opening and closing which is really cool and let's check uh, GSM arena how does it perform very quick or not GSM arena just click so you guys can see it can load it can load full pages without any problem easily and it's faster and remember one thing this is G apps build so you guys don't need to worry about uh, G apps which G apps you need to flash uh, so just inst uh, download and install you guys can easily use no problem and here is the smoothness you guys can see butter is smooth and this is cool you guys can easily use no problem and you guys can enable the widgets as usual as it is pixel so we have the pixel launcher in pixel launcher we don't have so much customizations now everything is done and you guys can of course use uh, the gcam without any problem and i already made so many videos you guys can watch that and now let's watch the gameplay so here you guys can see the gameplay of pubg mobile in pixel extended 4.0 android 12 and here is the graphics level low and uh, the frame rate is high so you guys can play smooth game uh, smooth gaming is available in that rom so this is gonna be the another room of gaming you guys can do gaming no problem and you guys are far better gamer than me so you guys will be able to judge so here you guys can see and here you guys can see the jump 